Hey y'all, so today we're at Secret Melody. This is not a huge um, space, but it does have a lot of nice things to look at. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Shy in Second Life, and it is definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So I kept going back and forth on whether or not I was going to look around this land with y'all because it's not large at all, but I decided to, yeah, you know, we, we can look around. So a quick little heat disclaimer, if you hear a huge gust of wind, that is the heat coming in. Uh, the heat gets pretty loud. This microphone is, is nice, but... Uh, she pick up all of the sounds around her so I really am going to end up investing in a different mic that kind of has better or noise canceling capabilities period because I don't think this one does at all so really quickly y'all you know I'm still I still got a couple of um costumes so I think I just have one more after this one so look you guys I'm piglet how cute right I know so this is a little costume. I said, listen, y'all gonna y'all gonna see this costume because where where I'ma wear it to? I didn't go to no parties for Halloween in Second Life at all. So, you know, they not finna sit in my inventory. That's that's what's not about to happen. So when I landed here, they have quite a few like really cute little things to look around. This land really does give me really cute like couple vibes, um, but it's also a really, really nice uh, place for pictures. So I was just really interested in being able to look at like all the little details in these spaces with y'all because y'all know I love stuff like this. I surely do. I surely do so I said okay you know what yeah we gonna we're gonna look around y'all what I find to be so funny and I was just talking to uh, mama Aries about this earlier when I am not recording my voice is uh, for lack of a better word it's very like bassy like I feel like when I record, my voice doesn't have as much bass as when I'm just like having a regular conversation. And I was talking to my mom about that um, earlier. We were in the grocery store, and I'm like, "Oh, I, it, it was it was given, sir." And that's never the vibe that I'm trying to get. And so she's like, "You're really overthinking it." And I'm like, "Okay, well, you know, just let me know. Like, do I sound like I have like a lot of bass in my voice?" And she's like, "You have." bass in your voice but it's like a sultry bass but she's like when you do your videos you do sound different from when you're not doing your videos and I'm like well I wonder why that is and she's like well you know it probably is like depending on the mood that you're in when you do the videos and so she's like your tone changes and um she just picked up on a lot of different subtleties that I didn't even realize I was doing in the videos because it's not anything that I try to do but when I do these videos I am in a very more like um peppy mood if you will I'm always like excited to do these videos I, I never do them um filled with any amount of dread or anything like that so because I feel very cheerful I feel like my mood is more um relaxed but like when I'm out and getting things done um she said that I she says that I have more of like an assertive tone if you will and I take that as being something good but I just kind of felt like today I just noticed my voice so much more than I normally do and that was kind of it was kind of making me self-conscious I'm not gonna yeah so they have these little houses and each one has like all of its um they all have they're decorated differently but they're like little couple spots where i'm sure one person can sit in here normally the um i love these little jar lights normally the furniture in second life is for singles and couples every now and again you'll come across um furniture that is just for couples but I don't really run into that very often. 
but I do like that they have cute little dip off spots and stuff like that so like if there are like more than a couple people on this land you still can kind of have like your own space and it be okay you don't kind of feel like you're crowded out uh, or anything like that so I do like that I do believe that this is a moderate sim I didn't check it but most of the places that I find they do tend to be um moderate sims so i'm gonna say this is a moderate sim it's like it's not an adult for sure it's not an adult sim i would have paid a, i would have noticed the what I, the red the red a for you know adult i would have noticed the adult rating i love this like pop art it's super cute so we saw this like little tree house um reading book nook type space on another land that we visited quite a while back i do believe so i think it's really cute in here i love how it's compact but when you pan in it makes it seem like it's bigger than what it actually is because we're not standing in here so we're not taking up um space of just like being in here i love this fabric look at that glistening the fire is bouncing off of the fabric and i love it so yeah i was really feeling some type of way earlier y'all so i have been when i tell y'all i go through so much when it comes to my self-perception was that like a teapot when it comes to like my self-perception because it's difficult when you see yourself a certain type of way but it seems like nobody else sees you that way so like for me because i know the size that i was before i had my son and i know how i felt being at that size not being at that size right now makes me feel like i'm like way past that size but i'm really not but to me i'm like i'm close enough so i gained 50 50 pounds when i was pregnant and that shit is not shaking when i tell you it is not shaking. I do feel like a large part of it. Are these little notes? What does it say? My love. I just need to say one more thing. I know that's right. Um, I've, I do feel like when you are trying to. What's across this? When you are trying to. Oh, we saw that already. When you're trying to lose weight. Doing like fad diets is not the thing to do. It's a real nice temporary fix to just make you feel better about losing weight and be like, okay, well, you know what? I can lose the weight. But it's such a temporary thing because it's not sustainable. Eating 500 calories a day um, for the remainder of your life, that's not sustainable. Yeah, you can lose weight by doing that. But when you stop, everything comes back. And so for me, I feel like that's the reason why I just been holding on to and teetering um with these um like 50 pounds and then i'll get depressed about it and then i'll gain like an extra 10 so like 50 to 60 pounds now everyone is like oh no you know candace you look fine um you're you know you're thinking too much into it sure you know okay it, i know you're not the size that you were um before you got pregnant but you know you act like you're 900 pounds but i'm like you're not walking around with this extra weight though it's like the ease of things i took for granted when i was lighter so now i'm like back to the drawing board with a better perspective of things understanding that okay girl it's it's not gonna come off quickly like you wanted to it's just that's just not that's not your testimony so now i'm going through the process of just doing things that are more um i want to see these are these cranes doing things that are more like healthy for me as opposed to just like quick fixes and it is it is mentally draining for me simply because it's like i'm tired of i'm tired of holding on to this weight i'm just tired and it's the fact that my body seems like it doesn't want to fucking let it go that is the that is the biggest thing for me it's like i'll see my clothes change it's like i know that i'm losing inches but 
the scale is like but you're still the same weight and that is like more mentally frustrating for me than anything else is the fact that like I will see a difference in my clothes but I'm not seeing a difference in the scale and so my mom's like you know f that scale and stuff like that but I'm like no you know I understand it to a certain extent look how cute this is with the little fishies I do understand it to a certain extent but at the end of the day I want to see those numbers on that scale move that's really gonna let me know that okay yeah you really you're really losing weight like inches is cool inches is real you know it's real cute but yeah no I want to let me see what's on the outside of here before we go in I want to lose pounds I want to lose fat and so it's just really mentally draining and I just always keep telling myself like you know what okay other people say you know it's not that bad okay well yeah okay if you want to lose 20 pounds you can lose 20 pounds but you're not like 500 pounds overweight and stuff like that and so it's one of those things where it's like when you know that you don't feel your best and you feel like you don't look your best um and I'm not talking from a perspective of like having issues with like eating disorders and stuff like that but it's like if you know that you've gained weight and it has changed your life the physical aspect of it you can't do things as easily as you used to uh you, your body's crunching and making sounds that you're like oh hell no what what is what is happening right now change what you change what you got going on don't listen to other people and just be like okay well maybe i'm just tripping because everybody else is telling me like oh you know you look fine you don't look how you think you look and things like that it's you you got to do what's going to be best for you it's nice when you can talk to people and you can find out that they don't necessarily see what you see but at the same time, you need to be pleased with what you see in the mirror as well. And so that's really the space that I'm in right now. I still haven't really been indulging in meat like that. I do dabble every now and then. But um, I still, every every now and then, you know, some, sometimes sis want a whopper. Sometimes I want a whopper. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know maybe maybe just completely cutting out me is not the thing for me right now i really really like this maybe that's just not what i need to be doing right now maybe i need to be moving a little bit slower and maybe just try to say okay well you know you're not gonna eat it for this week or something like that it's like i don't want to do anything though that's going to not be something that i could sustain I really like this telescope and that's the biggest thing of it. I'm trying to make better choices as far as the routes that I'm going to take when it comes to the weight loss and the routes that I'm taking when it comes to the weight loss so that it is something that is sustainable because in the past I've done everything I've done water fast I've done water fast intermittent fasting does work for me and that is something that I am definitely going to start back incorporating because that does work for me but the thing about it is it's like my cycle oh I'm ravenous when I tell you it's, it's it feels so horrible when it's my cycle time because I feel like I don't have any type of control over myself I feel like I just completely just give in to every little craving and for a long time I was just like okay listen this is what it is I'm not going to deprive myself of it because it feels too bad when I do that I feel too just frustrated when I go and just like say okay well no you're not gonna have that so I try to give myself grace when it comes to my cycle time and just like kind of indulging in things even though I know I really shouldn't be having them but just using the whole excuse of like okay well it's your cycle and so after your cycle you'll get back to where you need to be can you sit on this yeah I'm getting a hand I think you can sit on this it's like a little a little boat it looks like a old leaf and so yeah i'm like you know even when you want to indulge in things that still doesn't mean that you should 
and that's just kind of where i'm at right now with it all they had this ladder up here like it was gonna lead to something it didn't lead to a damn thing that's what i've been dealing with and going through but you know i keep telling myself there are people who need to lose hundreds of pounds i don't even need to lose a hundred so i just gotta stay focused and get her done